Hi everyone, it's been a while. <laughs> um, today's topic, we're going to talk about uh, foot pain. So basically, some people have pain in the heel or uh, what you might have been diagnosed as uh, plantar fasciitis. So basically, what it means is just there are a lot of tendons uh, under um, in our the sole of our our feet, and when there's inf uh, inflammation or pain um, in these one of these tendons, uh, it can be in causing it can cause a lot of pain or or discomfort when you're walking or when um, after you woke up in bed, get up from the bed, um, or it can manifest as uh, heel heel pain and it can basically pain on your foot. Uh, that's how Chinese medicine see it. <coughs> um, so in the past few months, there have been quite interesting. There have been back-to-back -back patients uh, with the same problem or similar problem. Um, one was a female, young female. She when she goes to aerobics or when she goes to the gym, um, her foot pain would flare up. And they would call it, she would not be able to walk properly. Um, so she really wanted to be able to um, have it looked at and have it treated so she can go back to working out again. And there was a male golfer who also had pain when he, um, he gets up from the bed in the morning. Um, there are also a few. <coughs> Anyway, so um, a lot of times when um, when you when you have foot pain, you would think, "Oh, I'm having pain here. I'm gonna massage here. I'm gonna apply some ornament here, or some uh, pain relief cream. You know, just take care of the foot and make sure you don't overuse it." Or, <clears throat> but many of the cases. Um, this is just a manifestation. It's not the real cause of an issue. Um, a lot of times I've noticed patient with this foot pain has a lot of, usually have uh, like tender spots or very tight muscles uh, in their calves. <coughs> so um, this is, <coughs> so basically when we are treating the foot pain and um, Usually we start where the, the pain is and then we do examination and palpation along the foot and the calves to make sure uh, to find out what is where is the the most tender area and I found that people with foot pain it, it's usually from here anywhere on the calf <coughs> so for these few patients I've treated their mostly focus the needling a lot around their calves where the, uh, they feel tender or where there is a tight muscle <clears throat> and after about three to five treatments these patients uh, could find relief and these are able to continue doing what they were doing playing golf um, working out in the gym playing basketball um, there was an old uh, old man who came uh, when I started my practice about two and a half years ago, almost three years ago, um, he had a lot, he had the he was complaining about heel pain, and he could not walk for very long or stand for very long. And I remember we did about six, five to six treatments. I can't remember. Um, and then I haven't heard from him again until recently. And then he. He came back because he he's he was going to travel. Um, he was going to walk for. He's going to be a tourist and walk a lot during his trip. So he wanted to make sure that he will be okay during the trip. So during the past two and a half years, uh, he was he had no trouble with walking. He had no pain at all. So <clears throat> so if you have plantar fasciitis or heel pain or foot pain 
you may want to take a look at your calves and just touch and feel around see if you have really tight calf muscles or any any spots is really painful and that's where you want to treat it you want to massage it or you can do a foam roller around it or a tennis ball or a cross ball <clears throat> so this will be your focus rather than here um, there was also a pa male patient who um, who had a muscle cramping issue um, around his calves like every morning he would uh, the muscles would cramp up or after he did some vigorous exercising like snowboarding or playing basketball or things like that that use that has a lot of jumping or um, that utilize a lot of calf muscles so um, lucky for him he did not have any uh, pain in his feet but there was a lot of uh, tenderness in the, in, the, in his calf so after about five treatments he was able to find relief and he, he felt so much better uh, after that so um, if you have this issue remember it's the calves not the foot and uh, if you want if you have any comment please leave it below and any question i'll be happy to answer them um, see you next time bye